think I'll always keep a Honda in my fleet, a Honda Accord to be exact. I don't care how many cars I get, Maybach and all, I'm still going to keep a Honda in my fleet, period. <laughs> This is the Honda Accord Sport and as you can see, they made a major change to the grill. It has a more aggressive look. There are uh, daytime running LED lights and the fog lights. Definitely love this trim. This is a sport trim and it looks amazing with tinted windows as you can see show you guys the back and it does come with the uh, chrome dual exhaust as you can see sport the 19 inch wheels clean aggressive luxury look I mean, I feel like this car speaks for itself, so this is pretty much it for the exterior. Beautiful. And I actually filmed this video on um, a rooftop, but it didn't save, so I'll just insert the pictures, but my video didn't save, so I had to redo the entire video. But I'll insert the pictures that I got on the, um, the rooftop with the skyline in the back but yeah that's pretty much it for the exterior so let me show you how big the trunk is so this is the trunk it is huge and you can actually fold the seats down and it'll give you more space if you need to fit larger items in here um so yeah let me show you guys what's on the inside All right, so y'all, this car is so spacious. Like, I love how spacious it is. Let me show y'all the back. Look how big. It has the armrest in the back. This car can comfortably seat five people with no issue. Like, it's huge in here. I'm 5'2", but like, even if you're over six feet, you can still comfortably sit in this back seat. Amazing space, but it does have the slant at the back. So if you are taller, you may kind of bump your head a little bit when you're getting out, but this car is huge. I actually prefer traveling in this over the, uh, Range Rover because it's way bigger way bigger and for obvious reasons I guess but yeah the car so let's start right here with the uh, gauge cluster so to operate the gauge cluster of course you're going to use uh, these little buttons right here so if you click the home button this is how you can um, switch through the different options so let's start from the top you have the tachometer and that's right here which i actually changed the way the tachometer looked it looked slightly different from this but um i can't remember how i made it look like this i'll probably come back i'm you know what i'm probably gonna do a uh like show all the different hacks for this car because that was a hack to get the tachometer to look like that. The range and fuel, this is pretty boring. I only use range and fuel when my gas light is on so I can see um, in real time how many miles I have until I'm actually on empty. Uh, right here is your speed and time. That's bo a boring view. <laughs> right here is your audio. So whatever song you're listening to, it'll show up right here. Here you have phone. So if your phone is connected, it'll show uh, 
the caller or who you on the phone with traffic signs it'll show what the current speed limit is which this is pretty much redundant because whatever the speed limit is is always going to be displayed right here in the middle obviously my car is parked right now so it doesn't have a speed limit the next one is driving support so with driving support it shows you how many yards you are um in between the vehicle in front of you so that's that and then driver attention of course that's going to show uh how alert you are so if you've been driving for a long distance and the car feels like your attention level is low the coffee pot the coffee uh, mug is gonna pop up this right here is for maintenance so you can view your oil life this b2 right here this lets me know which oil package i need for my next oil change so um if you have the honda assist app you can go in and schedule your appointment and you just put in b2 and so safety support right here this is how you turn on your lane keep assist and your road departure mitigation which i turned that i turned this feature off let's say swerve out of your lane or you switch lanes without using a blinker if you have this road departure mitigation on, the vehicle is gonna automatically pull you back in your lane. And this other one, this is for collision mitigation. This is a braking system. So all this means is if you get too close to a car that's in front of you, so let's say the car directly in front of you, they start braking and you get too close to that car and you're not braking, the car is gonna automatically start braking for you. Is it gonna come to a complete stop? No, but it is going to apply the brakes. So if you do have an impact for whatever reason, it'll lessen the impact. So it won't be as severe. I keep this on at all times because it has prevented several accidents. So that's that. And then right here you have warnings. Um, I think this is probably like, let's say if your tire pressure light or something's on, I think that's what that would be okay. this button right here is to keep that's the lane keep assist so it'll keep you inside of the lane this button right here determines um how close you want to get to the car in front of you which i go more into details on this feature during the actual drive and of course this car comes with um cruise control and um right here this button right here actually allows you to do the lane keep assist and road departure mitigation the braking system all that good stuff this right here is to save your trips which you can do that on here or on the um dash this right here is just for the lighting on the inside and you know you have your door panels and all of that good stuff push to start which most cars are these days um what else oh i love the um the air system so when you turn the air up see how this is turning red and when you turn it down it turns blue i think that is so cool so with apple carplay of course it's going to show all of your um apps and stuff and you can choose whichever map system you want to use i like to use Waze because it tells you um you know if there there's any accidents or police or anything but you can use maps you can use google maps whatever or if you want to you can use bluetooth audio for phone you can go right here and it'll show all of that good stuff um what else your text messages your usb your clock let's go to settings and see what's under settings y'all you could do all kind of stuff in here Let's go to vehicle. You can change like your doors and windows. Like I have it to where my doors automatically lock when I um, pull off. But yeah, this right here is for your brake hold. So say for instance, you're at a drive-through and you don't want to keep holding your brakes. You can um, press this and it'll hold your brake. You can remove your foot off of the brake and your car is good. And this right here, uh, this is for your pro parking brake. But yeah, I love that this car talks to you. I think that is absolutely amazing. And I don't have my seatbelt on, so she's probably going to start yelling at me any second now. Please fasten driver seatbelt. Yeah. And so um, if you want, you can turn that feature off so she won't, you know, so the voice won't come on and actually talk to you. 
however that little beeping and flashing thing right here the seatbelt thing that's still gonna pop up and make noise but if you want to turn the actual voice off you can you just have to do it um on here somewhere and that's one of the things i'm going to show you guys on the hex uh video it's in regular mode now i like to drive with it in regular mode because i feel like um the econ mode <laughs> It drives slower to me and the air doesn't blow as cold so this is regular mode but if you press this button right here it's gonna put it on econ mode and this is supposed to be a uh, better mileage but better gas mileage but I think it's the same in my opinion and then if you want to put it in sport click sport and switch sport uh, I'll show y'all sport <laughs> later when I can really speed. But in sport, when I tell you it glides, like to say this is a Honda, this car is really fast. And um, the sport, uh, the sport trim, it actually has a turbo. It comes with a turbo, so hence why it's fast as fuck. And this is only the 1.5 liter, and it's extremely fast. So just imagine how fast the the two liter is because there's a 1.5 sport and then there's the 2.0 so yeah <laughs> but uh the area that i'm in the cops be out here bad so i'm not even about to i'm not even about to play <laughs> what was something else i wanted to tell y'all about sport oh when you put the car in sport it tightens the suspension like the wheel gets tighter and um i took it out of sport because i ain't trying to burn out my gas y'all and i can't be speeding through here anyway but um anyway it tightens the wheel up and it's just an overall funner drive like you feel like you're in a sports car it does come with the um the aluminum pedals so you really feel like you're in a sports car but y'all i really 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 love this freaking car it drives so good like i love this honda more than the range rover the range rover would literally be parked right next to the honda and i would still choose the honda like it's a fun car to drive it's great on gas it's sporty um it has that luxurious feel to it like honda really outdid themselves with this uh generation and especially with the sport trim with um lane keep assist so basically it'll keep you in your lane so like watch this so see how i'm like swerving out the lane see how that popped up it pulled me back over so um yeah i personally don't like to drive with that on because it's annoying like if you don't use your blinker that's gonna pop pop up and kind of jerk you back over and it's actually annoying and I like to keep three bars because the ground is kind of wet. And now let me set my cruise control to 70. So you're at 70, right? And then you just press this plus button. Oh shit, that ain't how you do it, my bad. You press the, the minus button. Yeah, you press the minus button, not the plus button. And so, as you can see, it has me set at 68 miles per hour and those little dashes right there that's gonna determine how close I get to that car in front of me if that car slows down my car is gonna automatically slow down and when that car speeds up being that I have it on cruise control my car is gonna automatically speed back up to get back to 68 miles per hour as you can see I'm driving with no hands I don't know if y'all can see my feet no feet, my feet, my hands, and I'm holding the camera with my other hand and the car is literally driving itself. Stop playing, stop playing with Honda. Stop playing with Honda. <laughs> it's not a Tesla, but it will do, it will do. And then after so long, it'll make you grab the steering wheel just to make sure that, you know, you are alert and paying attention. At the end of the day, it's not a self-driving car. That's just a feature that's on the car, the Honda Sensing. This car is equipped with tons of cameras, so it does have the capacity to do what it's doing now. I still have no hands 
no hands no feet at all that's absolutely amazing i love that for honda i never use this feature because i'm an active driver um I, I like to be hands on and i like to actually drive but this is cool if you're on the highway and you want to roll a blunt or something i don't smoke but i see people do it all the time you can put this feature on and just go whatever whatever you gotta do you could be putting your makeup on girl whatever whatever this feature is absolutely amazing okay but anyway um i just wanted to show y'all how the car drives and why i love it so much so i'll tap back in with you guys later